Hello everyone, Donna Gray here, your Stamping Up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales. I wanted to introduce, this is a weekly craft tip, I wanted to introduce you to our Stamping Up trimmer and all the advantages and um, tips and tricks to use your Stamping Up trimmer. So one of the tricks is, this is your Stamping Up trimmer. It comes in, we have inch measurements and we also have metric measurements. Down this side we only have metric measurements, um, but it comes, it goes right through to six inches. Plus, if we turn it around, or turn it around this way, it also has an extension arm that comes out that takes it to nearly 15 inches, which is an awesome thing to have with a trimmer. So I just want to basically explain how we cut a piece of cardstock and how we can use our trimmer. Now we have, um, I'll fold that back in again, we have a handy locking mechanism up here on our, it locks this from moving and coming undone. So when you actually are transporting your trimmer, you can lock it into position. So it unlocks and then opens it up. Now on our trimmer, we have a light grey and a dark grey. Um, the dark grey is our cutting tool, the light grey is our scoring tool. So it's actually quite handy, we can cut and score our cardstock all in one go with our trimmer. So what we do is, how I cut my basic cardstock is, I cut my cardstock at five and three quarter inches okay so how we work it out is we go over here to the five and three quarter inch mark and we line the outside edge of our cardstock up with the five and three quarter inch line we then fold down this and then we pull our blade through our cardstock and it's quite easy that will cut our cardstock Okay, so then the reason why we need this extension arm is I then cut my cardstock by 8 inches. Okay, and the beauty of it is our blade is down the bottom here. We can then bring our blade straight back up through the top and that cuts our cardstock at 5 and 3 quarter inches by 8 inches. So then our card to score our card to then fold our card in half you can score it at four inches because half of the eight inches is going to be four inches so we use our grey scoring tool and score backwards and forwards and as you can see hopefully you can pick that up on the camera you can see a score line it creates a dint into our cardstock what we do is we fold against that dint to actually fold our cardstock. Another way that I fold cardstock if I don't score it is I butt it up against this here, the edging here, and then butt the other side up against it and then use a bone folder to, um, to fold and crease your card nicely. So now the other thing is if you want to do different sizes, so we can measure that, that what's left over is just about two and a half inches. So if we want to do a two and a half inch square by two and a half inch square, we can do that. We can line it up with our two and a half inch and cut. And line it up with our two and a half inch and cut. And it's we get a two and a half inch square. You can go down, if you're doing smaller cuts, what I find is we have, it goes over to one and a quarter inches over this side. So if you want to do a cut that you want it just a quarter of an inch rather than trying to hold it here and not having a real good um, support to line your cardstock up against you can actually line it up against this one here and take it over this is the quarter inch mark here we can take it over to the quarter inch mark and cut it and you can get a beautiful quarter inch strip of cardstock same thing goes right up to if we needed a half inch one if we needed a three quarter inch one or a one inch okay now what actually happens is you can replace your blades really really easily so when you look down at the bottom here I may zoom that in so you can see it a little bit better okay so 
down at the bottom here you can see there's a little jut out of our plastic what you do is you slide your blade down to there and lift your blade out so that is how easy it is to change a blade it then has if you look down here it has a little lip that that actually hooks onto the edge of our plastic the other part where the blade is we line up with that gap and in so that is how easy it is to actually replace a blade you can also replace the cutting track as well so it is really important to keep mine's a little bit grotty at the moment but it's really important to keep your cutting track clean that helps to keep your blades nice and sharp you can actually with um, just a baby wipe and a knife um, get into the groove there and clean out that cutting track and that is important because paper files build up in that cutting track and can then um, your blade can then blunt get blunt because of its running into a dirty cutting track but you can buy replacements for these so if you find you've cleaned them and cleaned them and your blades are starting to go blunt really quickly you get them in a two pack which is really really conservative so you can pop a new cutting blade in and it's just a, a case of opening it up and pulling it out and putting a new one in so I hope you enjoyed my tips on how to use our cutter I'll zoom back out again so we're not okay so I hope you enjoyed my cutting tips um, with our Stampin Up trimmer the Stampin Up trimmer is available through my online store and the link is below in this video um, to, directly to my online store but if you click on the link of the Stampin Up trimmer the item um, name you will be taken straight to my online store I would love to earn your business doing um, these videos it costs money to do these videos and if I have people customers that support me and purchase through my online stores it helps me bring more videos if you have any questions please feel free to drop them in the comments box down below I would be happy I always go back and check all my comments I would be happy to answer any questions you may have so once again thank you for watching and this is Donna Gray your stamping up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales Australia have a lovely day, everybody. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye for now.